Yes. If heaven was a mile away, man, I would run no lie. Be that faster than a blink of an eye. You ask why and I sigh, cause there won't be any more tears to cry. No more playing with games, no more taking in any lies. Just high in the sky with God, having a good time. Praising him for my blessings and all the ones that I would find. Making sure I love him and honor him. No more of this world, no more being a part of it. Or letting weak-minded people mess with my confidence. Instead, I'll be with God, the one who makes me feel confident. I'm heading to the place I know was made for me. Earth's okay, but heaven's the place. To be. That's where I'ma be as soon as I make it in Not just me, now I'm trying to take What up YouTube, this your boy Down Low back with another reply But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man So, today the Billboard chart then came out for the last week, man And some interesting stuff on there Like Tech 9 came in at number 4 with 58,000 units sold, man And you know, that's pretty damn good I haven't had the chance to listen to it yet But that's one thing that I'm definitely trying to peep out sometime this week Then you gotta look at the YMCMB collaboration, man It's been, what, two weeks that it's been on there 33,000 sales And that whole team group album shit That shit seemed to be getting played out way too fucking fast And none of these damn albums are getting any sales From the good music one to this one But anyway, on to today's reply Today's reply is to Staley Feature Schoolboy Q 1987 and you know what? Listen to a bunch of the Staley stuff in the past, man, and none of it has really been that damn impressive. But this track right here, this was pretty damn impressive. Like the overall song, man, it just works so well, and Staley was spitting, and it got a good feature and everything. Now, Staley still does have some work to go, man, to become a polished artist, because you listen to his verses, especially the second verse, his lyrics are getting in his flow's way. And this is something I try to tell people all the time that you can't allow happen like your lyrics and flow must coexist together you can tell in the second verse especially that he wanted to get those lyrics out exactly the way he wrote them like that but yet it fucked up his flow that he was rhyming on the fucking beat but besides that man this song definitely interests me to the point that i'm definitely going to peep out his mixtape when it does drop so i definitely recommend people to go ahead and peep this one on out it's not a must download or anything man but it's worth a few listens but anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPath.com. And today's article was about how your rap crew needs to be like the fucking Power Rangers. Because you go back to the early 90s and watch that show, man, you notice that they all fought the same amount and they fought together. And then look at it like this. When they summoned the Megazord, like there was one in charge of each leg. There was one in charge of each arm and one that controlled the entire fucking thing. He was the leader. Why the fuck is everybody in these rap crews trying to be the fucking leader? If you don't have somebody operating the fucking legs, how the fuck is you going to deal that death blow? Why is it that no one wants to play the role so the team can see fucking success? Why is it everyone wants the credit for being the leader, being the one on top and shit, when it's a group fucking effort? If your team isn't working as well as the fucking Power Rangers game, man, then your team is pretty much destined for failure.